all treasures do not have lawful ownership. Philippine Treasure Hunting Law Part 3 You might be surprised to know that, in the Philippines, all lost, or, hidden, treasures in the past, do not have any, lawful ownership. No one, can claim rightful, ownership to any of them. It's because, according to the Philippine treasure hunting law, this is what's stated. All hidden treasures such as money, jewelries, and, other precious objects, do not have any, lawful ownership. In short, the finder's keeper rule, applies in the Philippines. You have to know that, even the government, or military do not have the right, to claim ownership, to any treasures, discovered by someone else. Unless, they themselves are the one, who first made the discovery. Due to this Philippine treasure hunting law, there are many treasure hunters, who are happy about it. However, there are, some authorities, who tend to abuse their power. I already heard, a lot of sad stories from the people, who are victims themselves. Most of their stories, have one similarity, where the person in power, used the military, or police, to confiscate the treasures that they recovered. Of course, the victims can file, a case about it, just like Quattro has did. But, the odd of winning the case is too small, due to corruptions. Anyway, getting your treasures, confiscated, can actually be, avoided if you know what you are doing. If you do not have any idea, about what to do, then let me give you a few tips, which are, a set of rules that me, and, my team always follow. One, only work with individuals whom you can really trust. Make sure that your team is composed of selected individuals that you can depend and trust. It is important for you to know that a good treasure hunting team, is, bonded by their strong trust to one another. There is this one story of a fellow treasure hunter of mine, who freely recruits anyone on his team. When, they managed to uncover the hidden treasure, that they were searching for years. They were shocked that a group of military soldiers suddenly came out of nowhere, and, confiscated their precious finding. At the end, they only realized that one of their teammates, was with the military, and he was the one who gave the tip. He, even bid them farewell before he went along with the military, never to be seen by them again. Two, no one should know about your operation. It is important that, when you start your excavation, it must be a secret operation. The only people who are, aware about your operation, are, the landowners, where they must be informed to keep silent about it. If it cannot be avoided then, you can pretend that you are construction workers, who are making renovations. 
never reveal to the public that you are treasure hunters. Three, only one member of the team has access to a phone. Whenever we start our operation, we make restriction to the use of our communication devices. Only one member of our team who is the most trusted one, will have access to a phone. This phone is to be used for emergency purposes only. This can also prevent any of your members, who have bad intentions, where, he won't be able to send any information from his outside partners, to plan their moves. Anyway, if you have any questions, with regards to this topic, then feel free to ask them, on the comment form below. Moreover, have you enjoyed watching this video? If your answer is yes, and, you are new to my channel, then you may want to subscribe, and, hit the like button. You, are also free to share to your friends, or, to someone, who may find it helpful. If you prefer, a reading material, about treasure hunting, then, I recommend visiting my blogging website at, treasurehunt.club. Thank you very much for watching, and, happy treasure hunting.